A bill that would allow undocumented immigrants to earn professional licenses is moving through the state legislature. It would give immigrants permission to become teachers, nurses, and electricians. Our social equity reporter Micah Smith joins us with more on the impact this could have on Colorado's workforce. Brian, Senator Julie Gonzalez, one of the bill's sponsors, told me if this bill passes, nearly 3,000 DACA or Deferred Action for Childhood Arrival participants would be able to obtain professional licenses. She says this could be life-changing for those trying to make a living while contributing to society. For nearly four years, Metropolitan State University senior Karen Nunez Cifuentes has worked nonstop to earn her degree in biochemistry. My ultimate goal is to become a university professor. But even when that degree is finally in her hands, legally, Nunez Cifuentes cannot be a teacher in the state of Colorado because she is undocumented. I actually was denied from my first choice university because of my status, uh, which was a really hard thing to deal with. I never thought that was going to be a barrier. We've heard for years. Colorado Senator Julie Gonzalez is hoping to remove that barrier for Nunez Cifuentes and other immigrants who are interested in professional licenses. That hardworking immigrants um, who want to um, uh, obtain these professional licenses to say um, become plumbers or electricians or nurses uh, or teachers um, wanted to contribute and found themselves unable to do so. Gonzalez is sponsoring Senate Bill 77, which removes the lawful presence requirement for certain professional licenses and certifications, opening the door for undocumented immigrants to enter the skilled workforce. Folks who are um, quite frankly, on the front lines, um, doing essential, uh, doing essential jobs. And as the state grapples with a teacher and nurse shortage, the bill passed in the state Senate, receiving bipartisan support. Because um, we're still requiring that folks have to demonstrate that they're qualified uh, to receive uh, an occupational license. And even though I am just as qualified as my other um, friends and colleagues, I'm still not able to do anything. Um, so not being able to tutor, not being able to be a supplementary instructor, not being able to work here on campus. But Nunez Cifuente says as the bill moves through the state legislature, she's hopeful that she will soon get her teaching license and be able to help other undocumented students do the same. Next, the bill heads to the House where it's expected to receive bipartisan support. Gonzalez says states like Indiana, Nebraska, Nevada, and New Jersey have passed similar laws. Brian.